Right, hey folks, we should be live. I'm talking to Louis Levi about his uh, mutually exclusive minorities hypothesis. Uh, this is one of the downsides of multiculturalism, uh, we could we could say. And um, what we're going to be doing is using the hashtag MEM on Twitter. So if there's anything you want to get to us, uh, <laughs> post hashtag MEM on Twitter, and we'll 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 keep looking through it through the stream. Uh, anyway, how's it going, Louis? Uh, I, I suppose I could say fine, although uh, I really don't like what's happening in the New York, New Jersey area. Well, what a, would you like to give me your rundown of it? Well, for the past year, there have been a number of incidents, and I'm talking about dozens of individual incidents where primarily, and by primarily, I mean the near totality of perpetrators are black men and women just randomly attacking Jews in the New York, New Jersey area for very little reason other than they will just admit to saying they hate Jews. Right. Do we have any inclination as to why they hate Jews? Any indication of this? There has to be something going on in the area that there's like a confrontation between the two groups, like the Orthodox Jews are doing something mm. And they're like they're neighboring, they're neighbors of mm -hmm. these Jews. And it seems like there's no specific id individual area. Like they're saying a lot of this is in Brooklyn, but we can clearly see by like the map of where these attacks are happening that it is not just in Brooklyn. It's not just in New York. It's also in, you know, Jersey City, New Jersey. Like mm -hmm. it's in the New York, New Jersey area specifically, but. It's likely because there's some sort of culture clash happening between the Orthodox or Hasidic Jews in the area and specifically just blacks in the area who have, I, I mean, a violent animus towards Jews. And it's specifically, it's not towards whites. And people are going to conflate this and say, oh, it's just general, you know, blacks, 1350, hmm. they don't like whites. They're saying as these commit, you know, they're committing the crimes, fuck you, Jew. Yeah, yeah. This this is something I, I did a video on about an hour ago on the other channel, and uh, one of the things that cropped up in multiple articles that I was reading about it was specifically insulting them for being Jews. Like, yes, and and this this is what I want to point out. It's like they're not attacking, uh, you know, staffers for the Washington Post or something like that, you know, or like left wing Twitter activists. They're attacking people who look very stereotypically Jewish. Like they're the conservative Jews. Jews. They're yeah. not reformed Jews. They're conservative Jews. Yeah. So, but they're, they're they're very orthodox religious Jews, and the yes. the iconography, the the symbols of Judaism, you know, are on them. So they they mark themselves out like that. Because you know, if it was just some white beta leftist who happened to be Jewish who worked for BuzzFeed, they um, wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't care. Right. They wouldn't. It, they'd ignore him. Right. So yeah, it, this is particularly targeted, and it, it's like I say, there have been dozens of cases of bona fide crimes that have happened in the past year. This is not mm. someone sketched some bullshit on a building, you know, backwards swastika shit. I'm talking straight up physical assaults on camera. Yeah, some of like, them are really bad. Dozens. As well. Like, yeah, what, some of them are like <clears throat> practically like gangs of black men practically yeah. beating a random Jew to death. Yeah, practically. Just just this Jewish person just walking down the street minding their own business, and like a gang of black. They get kids sucker is, punched. Yeah, they get sucker punched or set upon by this little gang, and uh, one one of them, this guy was using a paving brick and he smashed his front teeth out and broke his nose. Yeah, with his paving brick. It's like fucking hell, man. That's that's actually really fucking bad. So why why do they seem to hate Jews? Is the question. Like, do we have any indication there's, as to why? There's two reasons that I can come up with because this, and I will say this for a, as a fact of the matter, outside of a handful of articles I've seen written on this, this has gotten next to no coverage from fucking anybody. No I've, one I've, has been covering this. I have seen a few articles on it, but it's never got the sort of cultural traction to start the conversation. Yes. But this stabbing yes. today where a black guy goes into this Jewish guy's house next to a synagogue and says, I've got you now, Jews. It was like, a rabbi's house. It was a rabbi's house, yeah. And the, what was the rabbi's name? Rottenberg or something. It's like, what a bloody name. Like, yeah. what, a, what a strange name. You but know? The, the, the crazy part of this is just like the Jersey City shooting where they believe they're trying to get into like a Jewish school. Yeah. To do the shooting. Yeah. They couldn't yeah. get in. They locked it down. The same thing happened in this instance. They chopped the guy chopped up some people. 
in the in the rabbi's house. Then he ran across the street or next door to the synagogue and tried getting in there, and yeah. they locked him out. So this is another instance where this could have been way way worse. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's pretty bloody bad as it is. I mean, I saw the I saw photos of the aftermath. Uh, yeah, there's blood Twitter. everywhere. Blood everywhere. Yeah, it's it, like the place is like torn upside down, blood everywhere, and it's you know this was a 37 year old man as well, so it's not like some you know impulsive, yeah. easily led teenager. You know, he if you look at him, he looks like um oh god, they're Moors. Or black Israelite. He might mm. be both. We don't know for certain just yet. The fucking governor of the state, who's a retard, was out there screaming at the top of his lungs that this is domestic terror. Anthony we don't know Cuomo, his politics yeah. yet. Yeah. We don't know his politics yet. So this could be a terror attack for all we know, but we don't know just yet. I mean, it, it does seem to have all the hallmarks of being a yes. terror attack. But until we actually see confirmation of this is the guy, yeah. this is his affiliations, whatever he has to manifest it or not, they're... Going at 100 miles an hour, and what's bothering me is, let's say we know this guy's politics. Okay, what are his fucking politics? Is this guy a white supremacist? Yeah, that's 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 the next thing that we should probably come to is, very quickly, I don't think white supremacy did this. Um, Not, well, if, you this. Ask some, if you ask some pieces of shit on Twitter, they'd like to, they beg to differ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some verified check marks who need to go fucking take a run off a cliff can just shut the fuck up about everything but like literally donald trump did this is what they're yes. saying yes dude like, that's what the mayor of yeah. the fucking state said uh, oh did he bill de blasio, de blasio said yeah. this is trump's fault how how the fuck is this trump's fault like i can understand why they go after trump for all manner of rude things sure. he said yelling he's racist but what has he ever said that's even vaguely anti-semitic nothing like he, He's he's on he's to to the chagrin of like the Nick Fuentes types. He's the yeah. Israel's our greatest ally type. Yes, you know he just he, they just passed a legis they just passed an executive order naming Jewish people as a nationality yeah. so that they can if there's anti discrimination laws in universities now based on his executive order and yeah. I it's nothing more than a speech squelching you know top down law from the executive. Yeah, it's it's completely in my view utterly unconstitutional. It should not have happened in any way. And I denounce his ridiculous overreach in his office for that fact. Because I think that you should have freedom of association in this goddamn country. And if you have a problem with fucking Israel, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be allowed to do business. You shouldn't be allowed to go to university and voice your opinion. Hmm. I, I think that one of the things I can't stand about this country is that we're falling all over ourselves to defend Jewish people. But while they're getting machete to death in the homes of fucking rabbis, they're not even going to say who's wielding that machete. They're not even going to say who's actually doing it and what their philosophy is. They're just going to condemn the president who's helping them, trying to, and condemn all of us yeah, so as you, equal you, to you, the machete wielder. You, you skipped over that quite quickly because you knew where you were going with it. But to anyone who's listening who's not quite following that, um, it, tr despite, despite it being fairly anti-civil libertarian to do so, Trump has extended the definition of what, because, like, what a Jew is to make it yes. so that they are hate crimes against Jews now. It's not just like religious disagreements and whatnot so it's you know it's not sectarianism so it's it's actually like a hate crime and you know whether you want you, you might not want the definition of what is and is not hate crime to be expanded they're, they're sure creating does, but. they're creating by proxy hate speech laws yeah yeah but the the point is trump is making sure that jews are included in this whereas the yes. leftists would make sure that they're not in fact yes <laughs> so i agree know. Um, so whether you agree that or not, at least you can see that through Trump's intention is to actually help protect Jews. And that's because he's got Jews in his family. This is, you know, this yes. is not, his daughter is Jewish. She's converted to Judaism. Yes. So this is not and surprising. And his son-in-law. Yeah. And his, and his yeah. son-in-law is not, in, not info, or he's not, you know, in, off, in uh, influential yeah. in his administration. He's part of the administration. He's there. He's present. Yeah. And he's probably one of the reasons why that some policy doesn't get put forward. Yeah, and then you you've got influential Jewish people like Stephen Miller in his uh, cabinet yeah. as well. Who well, mean, he's an he's an ethnic Jew. I don't think he actually is religiously Jewish. Sure, but he's ethnically Jewish. I don't, I don't know how yeah. how much that matters, but you know, but the the point is he's not you know he's a Jew of some kind, and he's very influential over Trump. So it's. It's not that Trump has any animus against the Jews at all that anyone can seem to identify. 
Uh, no, so, it, so, it's total so, projection. It's total, total projection. Yeah, total. Uh, yeah. The, the, if there's, like I said, if there's one thing you can you can't accuse Trump of. It's anti-Semitism. Um, and yeah, so the it has to be coming from somewhere else, in my opinion. Um, what so what do you what do you think of it being sort of the Louis Farrakhan types? Well, I think that's I think that's one of two sources. I think that the Louis Farrakhan slash black nationalist philosophical side of this is part of this. Like mm -hmm. them, the black nationalists, the black Israelites, and the Moors, they all seem to have this general through line of anti Semitic beliefs of like the Jews are doing something against mm -hmm. blacks. You know, they have many, many conspiracies about what Jews are doing. The only one that I can remember offhand is um, that they're harvesting organs. That's like a general Christ, right, belief. Yeah. It, it's what they believe. I'm not advocating it. So don't take yeah, me down, yeah. ADL. It's their ide It's their ideology. Yeah. If you're listening to this, don't take us down. Yeah, we're just forced to repeat what we've heard, okay? Um, and that's another angle of this that I want to speak to is the ADL. Mm -hmm. You know, the ADL all day today, all day today, has been all over every station fucking obfuscating this issue. I'm here naming what's going on. Who's the perpetrators behind this? They're on every goddamn television station flacking for the machete wielders and not defending Jews. So if you're, if you're a Jewish person or you're any kind of Jewish leader and you accept the ADL as any kind of representation, you're an embarrassment. For, for anyone who's not aware, the ADL is speci were specifically set up to be a, a pro-Jewish organization to defend Jewish people. And, and they are the biggest stars. censor on YouTube. They are the yes. biggest censor on this platform. And they wield it with no responsibility whatsoever. And they're now in the media flacking and, and covering up, actively pursuing a cover-up of this situation that, once again, some black nationalist, some black lunatic has acted on his ideology because he looks like a Moor. We don't know just yet, but the governor himself is saying it's political. That once again, here's another black nationalist, black supremacist, acting on his hatred, and the ADL is flacking for him. It is a weird situation to find ourselves in, isn't it? Holy crap. Well, the let me name this guy because he just went on Fox News. Dove uh, he Heingen? Heikend? He's a former New York State Assemblyman, and he's like a Jewish leader in downstate New York, in New York City. Mm -hmm. He's been all over the place. He was at the scene, like, right after it happened. He was at there at, like, 11.30, 11, and this happened at, like, 10 o'clock. Wow. So this guy's been on scene talking about this nonstop since um, it happened yesterday. And he's just he, he first he's just started obfuscating saying this is terrible it's out of control in new york city they need to crack down the state needs to do more he blamed the governor he blamed the mayor he said there's uh, you know you know there's an obvious not necessarily an, an approval but a lack of um uh of response hmm. to these incidents and they have been throughout the year this oh, has been all year that this shit's been happening it's just just yeah. been recently where it's been outright like terror attacks practically yeah but he went on Fox News earlier today and came very close to naming who's responsible. He goes on, he goes, well, we talk about the hate on the right. We talk about the hate in the Republican Party, but we're not here talking about the hate on the left Ooh. because there is a lot of hate on the left. And we're talking about New York City. Where is it coming from other than the left? And that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Because fucking New York in New Jersey, this part of New, New Jersey, these are not red districts. This is not yeah, the middle yeah. of fucking Mississippi. OK, this is not the rural parts of Virginia. This is not upstate New York. These are all Democrats represented by Democrats. These are blue districts. Mm -hmm. So there's only one place where the hate can come from, and that's on the left. But one of the things I can't stand about him is that even though he'll admit that there's hate on the left, well, what 13 percent is that hate emanating from? What 13 percent are those committing these crimes almost exclusively, possibly exclusively against the Jewish community of this area? Who's responsible? And that's the thing that no one, including him, is fucking doing. They're not naming who's responsible. They're obfuscating the issue because they don't want to admit what's going on. Well, admitting this is a is a real problem because we come into your mutually exclusive identity groups, don't we? Um, yeah. What 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 on earth can we say? Um, let me read a few super chats, uh, see what people are sure. saying. Um, what's the difference between fox hunting and rating in your eyes? I don't know what rating means. Um, Restore the British Empire. What's your history discussion on Alexander the Great? Keep putting pressure on the Upton window. What, do well, Sargon. Thanks, man. 
Um, any intentions of future live streams of you playing Kingdom Come Deliverance again? Those streams are hilarious. Uh, P.S. Louis say uwu to Sargon. That's disgusting. And um, I I haven't got any particular plans, but I'm not against the idea. Um, if only they could blame Whitey for this attack. Yeah. They really, really they're are trying, trying to do. They're, yeah. They are actively trying. Like they're yeah. on television, obfuscating, trying to push that. Yeah. Uh, Muslims and everyone else prove me wrong. Um, hmm. Not in this instance. Yeah. No, no, not, no, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not. He but, could be. He could be one of the. It's one of the groups. Could be it's Nation of, of Islam. Could yeah. Be. Could yeah. Be. yeah. 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 Absolutely could be. You don't. You don't, you don't know. Um, time to pop the collar, lads. Your videos on Star Trek Troopers and, and Demolition Man inspired me to buy them on Blu ray. Going to get around to watching them soon. Yeah, to be honest with you, I should be paid by these companies, shouldn't I? They should yeah, you be, should. They should be donating to my bloody Patreons. Uh, my subscribe <laughs> star, sorry. You know, like, come on. I'm doing doing good work for you fuckers. Um, how much does this black versus Jew clash intersect with class, IQ, or religious differences? Are these poor low IQ Christians uh, doing this? That's a good there, question. Um, there is, and I'm not I'm not trying to be facetious here, but if you listen to some of these people that are attacking the Jews, they legit sound like fucking low IQ. Like well, no they're sh- borderline incoherent, not because like they have a lot rolling around, they're trying to explain it. But because there's not a whole hell of a lot rolling around yeah. and they have difficulty just explaining. Like they literally asked this one woman after she like she steps out of court. She just got released. Why did you do it, man? Because fuck Jews. <laughs> like, OK, that's your explanation. Well, I mean, if it's just we literally just hate the Jews because yeah. fuck them. This, it's like more what than one say? person. They're, they're like going up to these people, asking them why they're doing what they're doing, and their yeah. ex, their explanation is, "I said to them, fuck you, Jew,' and then yeah, fuck Jews.' It's like <laughs> seriously, that's your fucking reasoning. It's not like, oh, he po- he took my parking spot. He he bumped into me. Like I've, I have not even been wronged by this Jew, and I hate. Yeah, him. it's just they're go they're approaching the Jews and attacking the Jews. It's yeah. insane. But I'm telling you, it's the two things. It's, it's the ideology, and the other side of this is culture clash in the community. Something's going on there. Hmm. Something's going on in the communities, and no one's covering it because you hmm. got that thirteen percent that no one wants to touch. I don't know, man. I I'm honestly, I don't know. It, it, like, it, it, and the thing is, what 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 exactly can be done other than a separation? You know, if you if basically you crack down on the blacks. Like, that's the one thing you can do. You crack down on the blacks and risk having a riot. Well, I, I can see someone clipping that. I, I, no, no, I was, I, was, I, I, I was talking to someone earlier today who lives in fucking Brooklyn. Yeah. And we, he said that his first reaction was, if they do anything, there's going to be a fucking riot around. That was his first thing that he said. And he lives there. Fucking hell, man. Like, that's the state of this state. It's such a fucking joke. Downstate is such a fucking shithole. And they can say whatever they want to of New York being a diverse state. It's taxed to death, and the only people that are left are violent gibbers. Those are the only people fucking left in this state. People that are looking for handouts from the state. And if they don't get them, they're going to fucking riot. Uh, Right, I'm going to go on to the next one. Uh, Thanks, Orwell's Orwell's Goon. I'll take that under advisement. Uh, He black... (laughs) Uh, anti-Jew blacks slash Asians are inconvenient for the progressive left narrative, just like how Jews slash Asians are e- inconvenient for white supremacists. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Western world is falling apart. Today in Ireland, we had the body of a man in the 60s who works with the homeless, was found beheaded, and his arms cut off. Jesus. Uh, but always remember, diversity is a strength. Well, do you know that that was uh, the consequence of diversity? Or was that just some lunatic? Um, Jews are an example of why we don't need affirmative, I presume you mean action on the end of that? Correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they are actually a, a really good example. And Asians. Yes. <laughs> there's there's yes. hardly one minority. Yeah. Um, I've been a big fan since 2015. Just say thank you for dedication and level-headedness in this day and age of radicalism. Well, I don't know, I'm getting pretty radical myself these days. You know, privatize ICE. Uh, <laughs> 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 radical capitalism now, baby. <laughs> um, uh, I've been going to a lot of Republican Party meetings and talking to politicians about free speech and socialism. Uh, That's actually, good. Uh, yeah, I actually took former Attorney General Jeff Sessions off to the side to talk to him about it. Dude, good job, Pyrrhus of Epirus. Cool. Seriously, you know, th- this this is something that essentially I think is actually really beneficial. Um, and it's it's been something I've been thinking about. It's actually not that hard to get into contact with politicians if you join no. the parties and then sign up as an activist. 
And you can actually start getting these sort of ideas to those sort of levels just by transmission of persuasion. Um, so, I mean, that's a really practical and forward-thinking thing to do. Good idea, man. Um, are the Moors still a thing? Uh, not really. Yes. I guess they they're still around. <laughs> they're, they? they're still around. They're crazy as fuck. Okay. What, what are they like? Um, what are they called? The the people, uh, the boat captains who refuse to give their ID to cops. Um, uh, what, sovereign citizens. They oh, act right, like yeah. sovereign citizens, except they're black. <laughs> okay. And I'm not joking. Okay, that's interesting. Um, right, okay. <laughs> uh, the movie Uncut Gems illustrates the Jew-black animosity pretty well. I haven't seen it. Uh, read Teddy Roosevelt's Citizenship in a Republic. This is my Cartago de Lenda Est. Uh, 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 Carthage must be destroyed. Um, I will do. Hold on. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that up on another browser window so I can follow it up afterwards. Uh, a trio of Swedish political YouTubers, Navid Madiri, Aaron Flam, and Henrik Jonsson. Uh, going to LA in January and we'll try to get in touch with people to do content with, including Rogan. You need to be there. Uh, I don't have any particular plans to go to LA in January, to be honest. I'm I'm enjoying some time at home, working from home for a while, I think. But I, pr I appreciate the offer. Um, do you think the biggest failure of the civil rights movement was to address the racism of the black community? Uh, hmm. I think it's not the necessarily the civil rights movement that's the problem there. I think it's the progressive movement of modern day that has told everyone that black people can't be racist. That just does nothing but foster racism. I imagine it's, that that yeah. mindset is heavily contributing. The black people can do nothing wrong. Sorry, that's, yeah. that's nonsense. I don't know why, you know, everyone can do something wrong. Um it seems that bad black and Jewish relations only occur in democratic strongholds. Well, it seems weird that all all bad race relations appear to occur in democratic strongholds. I mean, you've got Jesse Lee Peterson literally saying that there was no racism under Jim Crow where he lived. <laughs> like, it's... Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's hard being black with close Jewish Israeli friends and hearing that my community has those feelings towards them. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know what the fucking, what the deal is at all. And if these people are genuinely just too stupid to actually have an argument, then what the fuck do you do? Like, how do you persuade them to not? Uh, when are we going to address how socialism's demonization of the wealthy inevitably leads to anti-Semitism? Well, that is what Karl Marx thought, as he said, uh, money is the jealous god of Israel. So, anyway... <laughs> Uh, no, that literally quotes Karl Marx. Yeah, Sorry, know, it's, it is baked into it, you know. I don't think it was a coincidence that Adolf Hitler didn't start as an anti-Semite, and the more socialist he got, the more he really hated exactly. those Jews. You know, he, he literally, in, he, he says in Mein Kampf how he got to Vienna, and he loathed the anti-Semitic press, and then he became more ideological. He starts learning about Marxism and socialism, and then that's how he ends up developing national socialism. And then he ends up really hating those Jews all of a sudden. It's like, hmm. Weird. I mean, like again, he's not. He, as far as I can tell, he had not been wronged by any Jews. Like I don't know mm. how. Yeah, you know, as far as I can tell, they hadn't hurt him. Um, it was just all ideological. Anyway, Carl Benjamin, you were fined one credit for a violation of verbal morality statute. Would you like to know more? Oh, fuck's sake, I probably am. Um, and this is what happens when you tell black people they're incapable of racism because privilege and power rules. Exactly yes. correct, Andrew Rowland. Uh, Songun's next video, Die Hard 1, Politics of John McClane is fighting his capitalism. I have <laughs> not... <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. I might do that just for a joke. Um, right, okay. Uh, let's check the hashtag MEM. I bet me some good stuff on there, chaps. Rags is also in here, but he hasn't oh. said anything just yet. I've just been silently, ah. I've been absorbing all of this, all these pearls of wisdom. So what do you, what do you make of um, what's been going on, Rags? Well, I haven't heard too much about it, but um, I suppose the key is just not to stab people in the first place. That's that always right. helps. Obviously, the people who do stab people should be held accountable for it, no matter who they are. I don't know. That sounds pretty racist to me. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm called. So just, I'm just going with the flow at this point. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I see 13 and then I see 50 and I'm just saying racism. It's got to be. So, Rags, are you suggesting that there should be literally no racial distinction in sentencing? You know, I'm just, I just think that 
That's I just think if you do something bad, something <laughs> should happen to you. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure you just got voted well, out. Even you're, if you're, you're black. No you, I mean, maybe, maybe he, I, I, I'm st- jury still out on that, literally, literally and figuratively. But um, may, maybe even if a black person does something wrong, they should be sentenced for it. Wow. I, I haven't now. I haven't really de- this concept of justice. Obviously, in its infant stages, in my my little tiny pea brain, um, I, I'm sure I'll see the light one of these days, and I'll know, and I'll learn that some people are just too good for it. So I'm just checking the uh, the hashtag mem uh, for any interesting takes people have found. So uh, there's there's one, but hang on, let me just read about an, yet another attack against Jews. Here's a picture of the armed guard at my home synagogue. My home synagogue hires nowadays to try and dissuade people from murdering us during the holidays. This is the climate. Yes, hateful- Hanukkah as well. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, uh, this is the climate for that hateful leaders, hateful followers, and mass murder weapons have created. Um, like in school shootings, the president, the presence of armed guards or even an armed police officer wouldn't stop motivated murderers from murdering at least some of us. But because the hate is growing and the mass murder weapons are still legal, this is what my synagogue thinks it has to do. Well, I can see where you're going with this obvious argument for gun control, but what about knife control? Uh, how common yeah. sense? Yeah, machete can control. Yeah, machete control. Yeah, uh, you know. Come on, let's let's not. It's not about. That. And the thing it's, is about machetes is like it's not like machetes. You can go into like a you know a Seven Eleven and buy a fucking machete. Where are you getting that? Yeah, where the fuck are they? No, seriously, this is how machete attacks happen a lot in Europe. I'm like, where the fuck do you buy machetes from? Sports and outdoor stores. <laughs> yeah, I would say a sporting goods store. It's like the only yeah, place camping. It's a over. camp. It's a legit camping supply. Oh, I suppose maybe. I like. I, I've been to sporting like camping stores. I don't recall seeing machetes. So have I. I've been to there are certainly a few over big ours. ones. Well, yeah, this is America. Like, there's plenty of rifles to the ones I've been to, but like, mm. they don't have any machetes. Not that I've axes, ever seen. machetes. Well, knives, yeah, they've had hatchets stuff. and that sort of deal, but mm. not machetes. I've not seen that in a store before. Yeah. Machetes it's... are far better at cutting through brush than axes. Are. Sure. Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, this uh, like <laughs> you ban the machete, then they come in with a fucking scythe. Yeah, or you just use kitchen knives like in London. Like I saw, literally, yeah. I saw a video circulating circulating on Twitter earlier, where it was just a gang of inner city youths, uh, literally hacking at each other with knives, like you know, th- just flinging, yeah. thro- you know, slashes at each other. And I'm like, holy shit, dude! It's in the middle of the street. I'm like, holy shit! Like this is just awful. There was that one video of the one dude that just straight up walked up and stabbed a chick and walked away, and then was like in the camera frame the whole time. That uh, that was yeah. a bad video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, is this not the knockout game 2.0, Lou Levi, from the hashtag men? And yeah. I, you, I thought so at first, but I don't think so anymore. Yeah, I, it doesn't feel like that to me either. You know this, this. 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 I mean, people. People are going to jail over this shit, and they're bragging about it. And they're not saying, "Oh, I played the knockout okay. gate." They're saying, "Fuck Jews." <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I'm not even joking. I can <laughs> send you the fucking article, and it's like they just question these people. Like two women. Why did you do it? Well, because fuck Jews. That's why. It's like Jesus. Like you don't even have a bigger reason than that. Like again, like no actual reason. Like they bump into me. We got into a, a like. A, he's my landlord. We got into a fight. You know, he cut in line at you know a coffee stand or something. Something. It's just I hate Jews. Therefore, that's it. Forty year old women. <laughs> Fucking. Oh man, it's the, the multicultural experiment isn't going brilliantly at the moment, is it? Um, no. Uh, I read Trump's EO. It doesn't add nationality. It just says there's an overlap between race, religion, and nationality while protecting free speech. Right? Okay. Uh, why is the pool okay. closed? It's all the dank memes, mutually exclusive minority extremists, um, or or could have been the refugees, I suppose. Uh, they are hiding the identity from the public to hide the cause of the problem that identifying the cause you allow the perpetual victim um, it does seem that a lot of them were being quite neutral on who the attacker was they uh, don't mention him they just claim it, that they know they know the guy's name but they're not naming him that's another thing yeah something Thomas wasn't it um, but the uh, there were some that uh, like the Daily Mail for instance which is uh, I suppose we would call it right wing paper in Britain um, they did post that it was a black guy, and uh, um, who was it? Larry Elder <laughs> commented on it on Twitter, going, oh, look, "Daily Mail isn't politically correct." So 
But yes, it's not. Um, watching CNN at the gym. Guess what's the headline? That that's right. Oh God. Hey Rags, sup, my fellow Ewok. Hey. Hello. Uh, it sounds we like... had um. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah. No, no, go. On. Uh, we we covered a Quentin video yesterday. Uh, Quentin reviews. He's not a very bright lad. Um, is is that the guy who he... loves contrapoints? Yeah, he made that really creepy like fetish video for contrapoints. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, uh, I know who you're talking about. We were covering his Rise of Skywalker review, and he said in a line he was talking about um. Uh, Jenna, who's the black chick that they introduced, hmm. and he was very her upset. Name? Yeah, her name's Jenna. You'd be forgiven for mistaking it um, or not remembering it. I had to Google it to remind myself. Um, but Quentin said he was lamenting the fact uh, that the Ewoks weren't in it at one point, and he said all of the scenes with Jenna uh, and her crew could have been the Ewoks. And so we were like, "Damn, to Quentin, <laughs> black people and Ewoks are interchangeable." <laughs> And so that would be now hilarious. instead of so now the meme of calling people my Ewok was born, <laughs> and it's great. It's one of the better ones that we've had le- lately. Poor Quentin. Oh, I never would have expected such incredible racism from him. <laughs> oh my goodness, Quentin. I guess you know he he sees black people as a furry pet. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> right. Aren't um, they so cute? Yeah, it sounds like it's time for more Stormfront or SJW. I, I saw the Daily Stormer article about this. Um, it oh, was, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it was written tongue-in-cheek. But um, it, it was essentially claiming them to be black Israelites, although I don't believe they know anything about it. Really. One was. Um, yeah. Uh, high rags. Um, I, lost, hey. I lost a lifelong friend today after showing him your rape gang video from earlier. He's decided I'm a racist bigot because he deployed to Afghanistan and the locals were fi- fine people. Feels bad, man. Yeah, man, I'm, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. He, he thought the fucking Afghanis were fine? Are you fucking well, kidding? Th- there's every chance that, like, the local people were fine people. You know, this is... Yeah, I, I, I'd be nice to a guy from across the world with an, with an M4 in his hands, too. Well, they they might genuinely have been good people. Like I'm, I'm not, sure. I, I legit am sure that a lot of them are totally normalish people. Well, yeah, different varying grades of normal, but they're yeah, know, yeah, they, they, um, yeah, absolutely. How sure. how normal is raping children? Well, that's that's the question I would have for him. It, it how normal would you consider raping children? Fairly often in Afghanistan, it's it's part of the culture actually. Mm-hmm. Um, young boys, good people though, good people. Yeah. Um, but the but no, but that, the thing is, they're not all like this. It's just you know some ty- some parts of their culture, uh, you know, it's gangs of men predating on children. Some sometimes it's not all of them, obviously. Um, it's just something that we kind of need to talk about because no aspect of our culture that's ex- part, an acceptable part of the culture is predating on children. That's universally uh, banned. So that's something that they they need to change their culture slightly to fit in more with us. Uh, sorry, we can't really can't really waver on that one. You know, this is the the, the yeah. being cruel to children and using them for sexual gratification is not something adults are allowed to do. I don't know why we have to explain that, but um, look at ar- hashtag armed black movement ha- armed black armed black movement hashtag on Twitter. Uh, what's up for my e words? Wait, is that is that <laughs> some sort of ethnic That's slur? the Ewok. That's yeah, the right. Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> my E words. Uh, Lewis Dring, thank you. Hi Rags, excited for Susan W on EFAP in February. Yeah, Susan oh, GQ man. getting her on. Oh, I don't know how that got started, but <laughs> no, to my knowledge, we're not gonna have Susan herself on EFAP. Well, honestly, you should email her and ask her on. Um, yeah, I, I would love to have Susan on. Well, I highly doubt she would do it. If you put her on a stage, you could probably you could probably get her to show up because she does a lot of those. Tell her that you'll do it on Google Hangouts, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, we're bringing it, it back, Mrs. S. I know, I'm joking. Miss W, we're bringing it back. But uh, no, I mean, email her. You know, what's, why why shouldn't she? You know, you're just you're from film critics on the internet. You know, okay, absolutely. We're supporting her platform. Yeah. We're making her company money it would like be nice cares. to yeah. yeah she went on the game theorists or whatever so it's not like she's a, a you know a snob culturally sort of thing you know they talk about video games so you know why not like steam her. see see if she'll come on <laughs> yeah worthy of a <laughs> shot i suppose <laughs> cross your hey, fingers hey, hey susan cross first question why are you trying to fuck this platform <laughs> yeah. why are you trying to make my life as difficult as possible 
As yeah, a, seriously. Well, that is like, that, unironically, that, I would ask the question. Yeah, you know, you know, you you know, you we got we need this, right? Like we're trying to use like this. I got a man. You know, this is work that people do, and yeah. you're just poo pooing all over us. We're not. Gonna, we don't have a guaranteed job because we're a diversity hire. So, Susan, why are you fucking this platform? <laughs> anyway, um, uh, thanks for the stream. Uh, champagne, uh, great champagne birthday gift. Oh, thank you. Uh, have a happy birthday, man. Um, any thoughts on PewDiePie's philosophical content he posts every now and again? Yeah, his breakdown of Aristotle's ethics was pretty good, actually. Um, I, I'm really impressed that what he seems to have taken from it as well is the the things that people do on Twitter, it is the doing of them that makes them uh, bad and unvirtuous people. And Twitter is actually kind of the the worst of humanity being made manifest. Um, he's, yeah. he, he's totally on point. He totally got it. Um the merchant's finally getting rich, disavow. Um, can I hear you try to do an American accent? You, thanks, you're by far my favorite YouTuber. I, I can't do any accents, mate. I can, I can kind of do a Greta Thunberg one, but that's about it. Um, hey, Sargon, could we get your thoughts on the fires that are doing up my country, uh, doing my country Australia apart? Up here, I'm on an effing holiday to Hawaii while this is ramping up. I, I'm aware that they're happening, but I'm not really any, like aware of anything going on around it because... I'm yeah, I heard they're bad. I've been focused on other things. Um, hasn't Bering made a video about this or anything like that? You know, like someone, someone explain Not to me sure. what's happening. <laughs> uh, uh, Harbor Freight sells machete. Oh, Jesus, really? Um, oh shit, we got a hot take from Ben Shapiro. Oh, go on, what have we got? Did he post <laughs> uh, the mem hashtag? Did he? No, it says, <laughs> he, he, this is the first time I've seen him tweet today. It says, yeah. so the spate of anti-Semitic attacks hitting New, York, New Jersey and New York, they are, they are only being covered by the media now because they have become so violent and commonplace. That's true. That's because the media only cover white supremacist anti-Semitism. All other forms are deemed complicated. Mm, that's true. Tell He's me still the being lie. politically correct. Yeah. He's still not naming the black, so to say. <laughs> is, he, is he not, Louis? No, he's not. Oh, Ben. And he should if he gave a shit. Hmm. Because no, you can't you. Because everyone's talking about like, oh, we need it. We need New York to do something. Well, what the fuck are they going to do if you're not going to name who's doing it? How do they know what to do? How do they know who to target? Hmm. If you're not going to name who's behind it, because if there is anything that's going to happen, it is going to be a crackdown on blacks. But the state's going to lie about it. Um. Right, okay, I'm going to go back to the Super Chance that I was on. They'll probably go to the, um, like, a lot of these, like, the Moors, the black Israelites places that are in New York City, and they'll just raid them and arrest a bunch of people. Right. Uh, any statements from the blacks, Hebrew Israelites? I don't even know where we'd go to get statements from them. That's I don't know more. either. They were quoted as saying, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be... I, you, they might be. Well, undoubtedly they are, actually, but, like... yeah. What what's their opinion on this particular topic, or you know, is is that literally the the same response? Well, if they would be against it, like giving them the ultimate benefit of the doubt, then what is it exactly? Is the ration, rationalization for why they're opposed to violence? What is it exactly? Because I've mm. never heard it. I've never heard any rationalization or distinction of why they shouldn't commit violence. It seems to all be these people are evil. Therefore, anything justifies being against them. Hmm. Like that. I do pick up stuff like when I've listened to their we have actually um, downtown when I worked downtown here in Little Rock, we had a guy who would frequent uh, downtown with his posters of black space Jesus and stuff like that. And the true Israelites and all that. And I'm like, yeah, after listening to him, I absolutely believe a guy like that would go out and stab a bunch of people. Absolutely, I would believe it. Well, look look at the ones with the Covington kids. I mean, they, they were absolutely horrifically bigoted. Like, yeah. They, oh, yeah. They absolutely are. They yeah. really... They're, they say some nasty things. Yeah, they, they were dude. They were attacking everyone there. They were attacking yeah. like the black kids that were there, the white kids. They were attacking like Jews. They were attacking everybody there. Yeah, there's literally no one was off limits. So I mean, it I, is us versus everyone. Yeah. Um, 
I didn't have to work today because of a whiteout blizzard here in North Dakota. Uh, global warming made it possible for Why me to not? catch the stream. Well, wow, th- this this is the this is the uh, tremendous cold snap while the poles disappear that we were warned about. By the alcohol. whites are at it again. Um, it's been pretty warm around here. Well, that's dude, annoying. on Christmas here it was seventy three. Really, Jesus? Yeah, on it was like it w- it was incredible. We went hiking the day on Christmas Eve, and it was like seventy. Uh, Christmas Day was like 73. It was amazing. If it ain't a winter wonderland, it better be 70. It peaked at 50 around here, which I'll take, but... It was great. I'm down with it. More global warming, I say. (laughs) (laughs) I'm starting to wonder if the Industrial Revolution was actually a part of Britain's 4D chess to make our own holiday destination in Britain. Um, uh, Yeah. Right. So that's uh, that's right. Like basically everything that's happened so far, isn't it? So is there is there anything else that we we feel we haven't covered here? I I guess it's just a matter of like the the only thing that I see that's outstanding, but it's headed in a bad direction currently is whether the Jewish leaders, the Jewish groups, and the Jews that are going on media and social media, uh whether they're actually going to name the elephant in the room or whether this is just going to be like, okay, let's talk about it for today, but then let's bury this and let's get rid of it. Because it seems to me that even people on the scene, like people that were there that were watched their friends get fucking macheted, they're not naming it. They're not saying like this random black guy came in, say it said, fuck the Jews and started swinging. They just said a guy came in Hmm. and it's like, really? Really? You're, are you really surprised that it's it's this kind of guy that's walking up? Are you really surprised when this keeps happening over and over and over again? There's no fucking way. Like, if you go behind closed doors, this is being talked about. Hmm. This is being talked about in those areas, in these neighborhoods. But I, I'm telling you, like, Sargon, you and me, fly and I- to Brooklyn Go find a 60, 70-year-old Orthodox Jew, put a fucking microphone in front of him, and let's hear what he has to say. Because we're going to get one hell of a fucking hot take from that guy. Dude, you should do it. <laughs> like, I'm not do doing it. it. I'm not. Well, you're not that you far away from it. <laughs> I'm like eight hours. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not flying down there. You're not eight hours flying away. You're, only, like, you're, not, you're not that far Driving. away. Driving. Get, get a flight. Nah. I'm not paying that. We'll, money. we'll crowdfund it. We'll crowdfund it for you. We'll crowdfund we go down it. to Brooklyn, talk yeah. to some Orthodox Jews yeah, about, yeah. hey, what's going on? Just literally stick a camera in the phone and say, hey, what do you think about these stabbings from the black community or whatever? You well, know, the, the thing is, is that I, I, in my area, because of like people going from like uh, Toronto to like Rochester to New York City, uh, like I've, I've, I've had some exposure to like Orthodox Jews to Hasidic Jews, hmm. and. They're not politically correct. Like, they don't have fucking filters. They'll just come out with whatever they have to say. It's all the reformed Jews. They're the politically correct ones. And a lot of those are the ones are the ones that are in the media. They're like, oh, I'm technically Jewish, but I don't worship blah, blah, blah. Like, mean, they're the, super... the, the sort of ethnically Jewish ones, right? Uh, ethnically Jewish, but they, they, uh, they claim that they have some sort of religious identity, but they're basically right. atheists. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's the Orthodox Jews that really do believe those are the ones that I, I've the experience that I've had does not say that they're politically correct. And that's why I'm surprised that the dam has not broken. I, I, I can't believe that no one has come out and just delivered like gone on the news. Give me that microphone. I'm going to lay out a fucking hot take because they live in the area because th- like the state is permissive of this. Yeah. I'm saying flat out the state is permissive of this violence. They're looking the other way, and I, the Jewish groups are obviously not going to do jack shit about this. So well, the, the ADL waiting. seems to be in defense, doesn't it? No, um, they are. They are actively. Hmm. So yeah, I, it's, 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 is Tim from, Pool still live in New York? Uh, near it, I think. Uh, it, from the MEM hashtag, or is it Philadelphia? Philadelphia. Yeah. Uh, it's entirely too predictable what the radical left will say about black people attacking Orthodox Jews. White culture did this. White cul- culture wormed its way into the, the minds dude, of these black Dude, they are saying it. And, the, and uh, killing these Jews. Honestly. If you find any hot takes, just like retweet them to the I hashtag M E M, Because I, I really want to see some of the best ones. Um, I'm just going through the uh, other hashtags myself, but if you find anything good. <laughs> 
I, I can't stand it. Like, all day today, fucking including Jake Tapper. Jake Tapper had that ADL faggot on his channel where, again, he's just the whole time just obfuscating. Jake Tapper tweeting out an article from The Atlantic. We're not safe. We're not safe to be Jews in New York. From who? From who? I mean, I agree. Like, I, think they're, I think they're saying something that's a true thing. Well, because the state is permissive, I agree. But yeah, the yeah. fact is, is that the Jewish groups and the Jews aren't doing themselves any favors by clamming up. Pretending, oh, it's just the Gentile. Yeah, no one in specific. No. It's like, okay. You're, then you are just as permissive as the state is in this violence continuing. That's crazy, isn't it? In, unless you name who is responsible, there cannot be any response. Hmm. Yeah, man, the, the, just looking through just various hashtags, um, I've actually, I tell you, the, recently the Twitter hashtag has been insufferable for where I live because it's all been football. It's like, for mm. fuck's sake. Worse than politics. Yeah. Just looking at the American one now. I can't even see this trending, actually. It wasn't earlier. It was trending on Twitter for like three hours way early in the day, like 7, 8 a.m. It was trending, and then it just died. Do you think Twitter gone. took it off deliberately? I would imagine they did. Because not right now what's trending is the shooting that happened in Texas. Everyone's talking about that now. Yeah. What, what's, the, what's the deal with the Texas shooting? Some guy walked into a church with like a shotgun or something, and some other dude that was an attendee blew him away. Oh, yeah. He shot two Hell people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then, uh, then praise, G- praise Jesus and pass the ammunition. Yeah. Well, there people are saying like, "Oh, take the guns out of the church," and it's like, "Okay, well, then more people would have died." So I'm not really sure what your point is. Yeah. But yeah, I think that I think that depending on what happens, we don't know what's going to happen. But I think the story's going to fucking die. The story we're talking about right now, yeah, what yeah. happened in uh, this part of New York, I think that story is going to fucking die because we're not at the point yet. Like if this were 50 Jews killed, maybe then like this guy gets in the synagogue, like he tried to do and machetes 50 people, then maybe we'd still be talking about it more. But because only a a few people have been chopped up, but they haven't died just yet. um, I think it's just going to get buried and all the Jewish groups are going to go back to censoring me off of YouTube. (laughs) And that's going to be about it. Just going to say that Jackie Walker of Momentum blamed Jews for the sugar and slave trade. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> black anti-Semitism is, is real and as a British Jew, just going to have to keep shouting this out. Hashtag mem. Uh, that's, that's, that's yeah. interesting. Please and, do. Somebody has to. Yeah, that, that's a believable uh, story about the Labour Party as well, I have to say. Like, all of, all of these things, there, there really is this fucking consistent pattern at the moment. It's like... Everyone, everyone's gone mental. Everyone's gone fucking mental. Um, right, so if there's anything else, um, let's have it now, because otherwise I'm going to go, because I'm exhausted. I was drinking yesterday, saw a bunch of my friends, and I'm really hungover. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm a bit low You're energy celebrating? Today. That's disgusting. Well, yeah, you know, it's like, I hadn't seen them in years, actually. She just died, Sargon. Uh, I was respectfully two, three days after his birthday that, uh, that I... But I went out uh, celebrating, so he would have risen by that point. I, I had somebody message me um, about downstate politics. And the fact is, is that the Democrats in New York, they will never, ever, ever, ever address this because they're walking the type road <laughs> of like. And I say this in a video that I'm going to post probably as soon as we're done with this. Yeah, that the farmers are not going to criticize their cattle. If you have a voting farm, you're not going to criticize your livestock. And Oof. there's no reason in the world for <laughs> politicians in New York to criticize blacks at all, ever, under any circumstances, no matter what. Because this is their bread and butter for how they get elected. So they they are going to let the Jews die. They're not going to do anything. Unless the Jewish groups... Because fucking... Dude, if Bibi Netanyahu can condemn this attack, and he did, mm-hmm. if he can d- condemn this... And none of the politicians are going to do anything about it because there's not because the Jewish groups in America that actually hold some sort of influence are just going to lay down. Then nothing's going to fucking happen. Uh, just want to say I disavow what Louis Levi says, just generally. Um, sorry, Karen. I, I I mean it happened. <laughs> I mean you, you can't help but say it, like like the politicians in New York are basically going Trump's America, uh, vote for me. Yeah, yeah. Like this is not going to change because the 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 
the New York politicians have no incentive t- to criticize blacks because that puts them at risk. Disavow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm just, just, just disavowing. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the last few super chats now. I'll, I'll uh, I'm gonna end the stream because I'm exhausted. I need to go flake. Um, hi, at the same time, we have socialism on the rise. Yes, we do. Um, I don't think these things are coincidental. Uh, Christ, not a pacifist, said, "What? Christ, not a pacifist, said, sell cloak by sword." Um, he he did say that he's come to bring the sword, but I think this is before Paul uh, or Saul of Tarsus effectively hijacks Christianity. Like Jew- Jewish revolutionaries were not pacifists, you know. Jesus isn't following no. the Jewish tradition. Um, it's it seems to be a Greek innovation. Um, as a well-to-do man from Dixie, Texas specifically, this is an issue with cities and the urban corruption and welfare state BS that comes with it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it seems to be the case, to be honest, yeah. Uh, Judaism over Sabbatai Zevi over Frankism over communism slash Satanism. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, I guess. <laughs> no, man, hell the Dark Lord Satan, yeah. I say. Uh, honestly, I'd rather get to the point of it's just some guy rather than it's just some white guy, some black guy, as if race mattered to motive either way. Well, the thing is, I think it does matter in this instance. It does matter, yeah. (laughs) If if it's a matter of two guys are fighting over a parking spot, so they got they got in a physical fight over a parking spot, then the race doesn't really matter unless somebody's dropping the n word or something. But if a guy for like these women and this guy and everyone involved in this who's black when asked is saying that their motivation is just overt hatred and nothing else. Like some, they, they literally are two dimensional characters and that is their Mm. motivation. And it is extremely relevant because the fact is, is that it's religious and racial in terms of their motivation. As far as we can tell. The the important thing, it's, it's about perception. It's not about like anything empirical. Uh, Yeah. You know, it's, it, it does, you know, there's nothing about the race in particular. It's about their opinion of the race. And their opinion yes. is just highly prejudicial. Um, yes. So it's 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 nothing to do with like you know genetics or something. I mean, nothing nothing at all about any of that. It's all just about opinion and people being assholes. Yeah, I, I will say though to the person that said earlier that some of these people I think IQ is involved because they seem like f- straight up fucking retarded. <laughs> Disavow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like they, they, people talk to people, dude. This black woman who they interviewed had like a big shit eating grin on her face, really? talking about how she. Yes, here I'll show you the article. Yeah, get, I'll fucking get it up. Yeah, I'm gonna post it. Um, it's gonna be in the um, the uh, uh, thumbnail of my video. Is her shit eating grin? It's it's fucking insane. Right, okay. Let me find it. Um. think this is it right here uh no this is the other one where she has a shit eating grin let me find the 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 really good one that i want to show you that she has a shit eating grin she seems very pleased with herself is what you're saying yes and it's just here it is found it right okay put it in the chat yeah it's it's insane click on it and look at her grin like, she was talking to the fucking journalist, being like, yes, I attack Jews because I hate Jews. And she has this big fucking <laughs> grin on her face. She does She does look kind of pleased and with he- herself, doesn't the, she? Here's the, here's the question, okay? There's some controversy over these bail laws in New York. How was she just... She, she assaulted three Jewish women, and she just got let out. The woman accused of slapping three Orthodox Jewish women in the face and yelling, fuck you, Jews was released without bail Saturday amid a spate of anti-Semitic hate crimes in the Big Apple. Tiffany Harris of Flash, Flatbush was charged with misdemeanor assault, but surely it's a Flatbush. hate crime of some kind. She allegedly approached the three women and then slapped and barked the offensive expletives, cops said. She rudely brushed off reporters after the court proceeding, during which she kept her face hidden inside a hooded sh- sweatshirt. Uh, what do you want to know? Goodbye, she told the Post reporter. Uh, right, okay. That's amazing how she she seems kind of pleased with herself. Yes. That's... And so did the other woman. The other woman, too, got interviewed by journalists, and that's where she said as well, like, she doesn't like Jews. 
Okay, well, I mean, if if they're just going to be racist about it, they're just going to be racist about it. What what else does that say? I'll send you this other article yeah, yeah, yeah. where it has another photo of her with like a shit eating grin on her face. She's like doing hand gestures when she gets out of fucking jail because ha ha. I'm black, and I got institutional privilege. Later, bitches. I'm out. Audi 5000, I'm out. Oof. I could just commit hate crimes and get away with it. Bye. Later. You got no bail, and I'm not going to show up for my date. You can have a warrant out. I don't care. Because I have institutional privilege. F you, Jews. Yes, I was there. Harris admits later to the cops. Yes, I slapped them. I cursed them out. I said, F you, Jews. She literally says what her motivation is, is I hate Jews. Like, fuck you, Jews. That's yeah. it. That's it. No, no, like, oh, we got in a dispute. She pushed me. She's poured coffee on me. Like, nothing about acceleration outside of I saw a Jew and I tacked her. That was it. So, you like, Sargon, you tell me. If you're going to disavow me, what is this woman's fucking IQ? What do you think? Speculate. Uh, oof. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say... Probably in the high 120s. Uh, clearly, she's spent a lot of time thinking this position I'll out. Do you one, I'll, I'll do you one better. I think oh, IQ yeah, is yeah. invented by the white man, so it's not even real. <laughs> IQ is just, colonial, oh, Louis. Just, just, just a fucking a rocket scientist <laughs> out on the streets doing brain surgery, right? <laughs> well, in, you know, just she's, she's taking taking a break from her day job of being a doctor. To go and uh, to go, yeah, a forty-year-old woman who's probably in and out of prison, who's getting out because of these new fucking gib yeah. laws, where it's like, no, no more bail, no more bail. Like you could just, you can go fucking beat the shit out of a bunch of Jews, and it's like, I'm black and I'm out later. See you never, because I'm not gonna show up to my court date because I have no reason. Yeah, there's uh, there's another one here, a sixty-five-year-old Jewish man who's punched and kicked with the uh, the person saying, "Fuck you, Jew bastard." Nine in the last Fucking week. Oh, yeah, Nine but, in the last but week. What, what was the motive? Uh, well, let, I, I don't know, but I, let's let's see if uh, they've got a picture of this guy. Oh. Motive remains unclear. Uh, what's his name? What Do we have a name? Which guy? Just the, this one I'm looking at, Stephen George. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... Quickly find anything. There's another photo of another black woman, Iana Logan, oh, down in the article. Um, yeah, another yeah. winner. Yeah, but um, yeah. So okay, I'm I'm convinced there's something seriously wrong here um, that needs to be looked into. What what what's your suggestion, Pastor Louis? What should what should be done? Uh, like I said, uh, New York State kicks in the doors of all the the, the all the uh, offices of like the Moors, the Black Nationalists, the mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, what are they? The Black Israelites who are definitely in New York City, kick mm-hmm. in their door, raid their offices, see what you can get, because they can come up with whatever bull whatever bullshit. Especially if this dude, the stabbing guy, has any kind of affiliation, like the guy in Jersey City did, had some loose affiliation. Both. The guy and the woman did. Yeah, yeah. Start kicking in doors. Start making it clear that this shit isn't going to be to- tolerated. And if you got black guys and black women walking around Jewish neighborhoods, question them. Stop them. Frisk them. Find out what they're doing. Like, I tell you what, you got to start if, cracking down. If if it is like the black Israelites, like I've seen videos of like hundreds of them in really well disciplined like formations, like doing their chants and stuff in the street, and it's like, I mean, how popular are they? I, I think Stephen George might be the one white guy. Right. Yep, he is. Okay, um, do you think this has anything to do with Jewish landlords in New York? I heard there was tension over rent. Um, I don't know anything about tension over rent, although I can imagine I've seen is. people speculate about that, but not people that live there. Yeah, but I've, I've not... I mean, none of, these, none of these people doing the attacks ever mention anything other than just fuck you Jews. So yeah, it's also by the way the white guy from Miami who's the Stephen George guy. He also said "fuck you, Jew." Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> um, Lewis is disavowed. Begin ghost protocol. Also, who doesn't like Christianity? When Jesus dies, you get chocolate. When he's born, you get presents. Um, yeah. Governor Cu- Governor Cuomo was subtly blaming Trump for the attack. Oh, imagine my shock. Yes. Yeah, I, I watched this speech. Bill De Blasio just came right out and fucking said it. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, every... And the host even called him on. The host even called him. Like, are you serious? Like, yeah, I'm serious. Like, dude, what the fuck? And the thing is, I bet every single one of these people involved in this incident hate Trump and vote Democrat. Yes. Like yes. They live in yeah, Democrat sure, strongholds, sure. you know. I, I this the the guy that did the stabbing. I said on Twitter that this is how I know he's like a more thing because he looks like a player character from fucking Red Dead Online. <laughs> like he looks like he's from another age. He looks weird as fuck. Yeah. And that's why, like, the Moors and all that look exactly the same way. They look fucking weird. So that's why I'm saying I think I I think this guy's a Moor or something like that because he looks weird. Uh, check and out. oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, go ahead. No, uh, go ahead. I was going to go on to the next one. Sorry. Um, hello, yeah. all my e words, high rags. Oh man, we keep getting hey. e words. Uh, this is oh, this man. is this is offensive, and you should be banned. Banned from YouTube yeah. immediately. Uh, check out the Red London Facebook page for more leftist anti-semitism and stalin worship yeah so there, there's a there's a bit of a a bit of a scandal going on with the labor party again louis ryan this is oh, no. you're, again? No, no, no. yeah again. If, if you can imagine it right so um the the woman who it looks like is going to succeed corbyn uh is yeah. rebecca long bailey and she's a communist and she is having her I'm glad they learned their lesson yeah exactly no it's actually great to be honest like, let them double down i want i want them to go full commie um, but she she turned up. Uh, it turned, no, sorry. It turns out that one of her organisers uh, wore a badge a few years ago. Now you, know, you might think, well, this is all sounding a bit like flimsy. Uh, but the the badge was "Good Night uh, Trotskyite." Um, the, yeah, yeah. The, for anyone who doesn't, the, the, the trots hate the Stalinists, and uh, th- this would imply that this person is a Stalinist and is against the trots. Um, yeah, which is kind of like saying "Good night, Strasserite." The Strasserites being the more sort of like traditional socialist wing of the Nazis that got purged by Hitler. And so, if you wore that badge, it would kind of imply that you were in favor of Hitler rather than Strasser. And it's the same sort of you know ideological divide. Sure, um, but it, it gives you an indication of like who's taking over the Labour Party. And you know, do you think the anti-Semitism is going to get better or worse under Stalin? <laughs> Stalinists. <laughs> oh man, I uh, I don't think it's going to get any better. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guess know. it didn't in the Soviet Union. No, it didn't. No. Um, anyway, playing England in EU four while Sargon plays on my TV. Uh, at the same time, we have socialism. All oh, right, okay, right, right, um, right. Yeah, don't send any more chaps. I'm just going to have a quick look at the hashtag again, just in case anything is interesting there, and then I'm going to stop the stream. Um. <laughs> okay what hang on i'm just gonna get it up just... oh dear hang on go to the live feed yeah well i'll, I'll post it in the um oh okay post it in the thing. i haven't seen many memes of tim pool to be honest uh, my boyfriend asked me to tweet this. I don't know what it means, but here you go. He doesn't use Twitter, so he asked me to post this on his behalf. Here's what he had to say, plus a little meme, hash M-E-M. Um, something is going on in these neighborhoods, and nobody is reporting on it. And it's uh, Tim Paul. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Go, Tim. <laughs> Absolutely, go, go Tim. Tim. Yeah. It's break, your birthday. Break the story, dude. It's like Sweden <laughs> all over again, man. Yeah, yeah. Go to these no-go zones and find out what's going on. Yeah. Find out why these people really don't like the Jews. Who yeah. are these people who just don't like the Jews? Who could they be? Yeah, what thirteen? They must be out there they? somewhere. What's what the is co- their percentage of the total population? Tim Pool. You know, he's mixed race. You know. <laughs> so uh. it, it, it occurs to me he he lives in Philadelphia, I think. So he's not even far away. No, um, he isn't. No. Uh, just... <laughs> don't wear the beanie, though. They might think you're Jewish. Get a maga beanie. Might mistake you. Right. <laughs> See, it seems it seems like the Magatards oh, are safe no. in this in this regard. Um, uh, Sargon, it seems to me that the figures like Farrakhan perpetuate the Jews control the world narrative in these communities, leading to this violence. The narrative is simplified an anti-Semitic worldview uh, of the deep state, which is a real thing. Uh, yeah, I I don't doubt that they've got significant influence. I've got no doubt. No, um, they, I'm sure Farrakhan does. He has a lot of influence with a lot of yeah. politicians and people involved in politics. Uh, yeah, and he, he has done for quite some time. Um, <clears throat> so apparently, oh, this... apparently he lives in Jersey. He lives in Jersey now. Oh, it does he? Right, okay. right. So even even closer then. Um, so Aaron Bieber, freelance science journalist uh, for Gizmodo, Wired, and you know a bunch of other regressive left places, uh, apparently has locked her account after tweeting out sewing, as in stitching, but yeah, sewing division among minority oh, groups. Oh, that. Cr- 
serves white supremacy. Minorities share the enemy of white supremacy and make powerful allies to each other. Black Jews are having an extremely difficult time right now, and I stand with them as members of my tribe and allies in the fight. Oof. I absolutely refuse to stand by and watch silently as anyone uses these attacks against Jews that have happened across New York and New Jersey as an excuse to support their racism. Anti-Semitism is unacceptable, and so is racism. Uh, the situation in New York, and let's be clear that we don't know who perpetuated the attack yet, is massively complicated. And yeah, this is standing in solidarity against white supremacy. <laughs> and one more time, in, in case you read it too fast, I'm sending love and solidarity to black Jews right now. Let's lift them up and show them kindness and support. They are our tribe, and they should never ever feel any other way than safe, any, than safe and welcome in, our, in their own community. So, is she assuming that these are the black Israelites? Do we think? Yes, that's right. what she's assuming. And to think that they're part of her tribe, I would think, madam, they would beg to fucking differ. Uh, yeah, I don't Holy think... Holy shit. I don't think they agree with you at all there. Um, I don't know. This woman sounds like one of those women that go overseas and get raped to death. We need to send this <laughs> stupid bitch down to fucking this part of New York and, oh and let fucking nature take its course. Well, yeah. yeah it's, it's not... But um, right, yeah. So it it seems that we've we've accomplished, uh, the, you know, <laughs> uh, the worst stream that could be done about this. Um, but thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get banned by the ADL for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ADL, we're against this, you dummies. Um, anyway. Yeah, we want Jews to live. Yeah, yeah. Believe it or not. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching and donating and hanging out with us, everyone. Thanks for. Rags and Louis Levi for joining me. Uh, there's a link to Louis' channel in the description. I'll put Rags' one in there as well. You should definitely check them out. And I'll see you all later.